Loudon Boudreaux. Loudon Boudreaux unboxing video. <laughs> Get the camera out of my face! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, right, let's do this. Alright, alright. We got here the Nike Street Flies. How do you know? What if it's just a. I don't know. Dude, what if you got schemed? This is actually. <laughs> this is actually a surprise mystery box unboxing. Oh my god! We do not know what is in this box right now. Oh it could be anything. God. Let me see, let me see. Loudon. Boudreau. It just from Nike. From Nike. Oh my god. god. Wait, guys. Spots by Nike. I think I'm fine. Okay, just kidding, just kidding. Let's open it up. Right, Let's right. open it up. Here we go. Yeah. Street Here fly go. unboxing, any percent speed run to record. Unboxing. This Street knife uh, I bought. Definitely I bought it. I always buy all my utensils. Wait, that looks like the knife. Show! <laughs> okay, anyway. Oh my. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know what it's called. Are you f***ing? Oh, 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 it's like it's Wait, you can't show that, you can't show that, you can't show that. Can't show that. <laughs> it's a, it's unbranded. Unbranded. You hit my girl. <laughs> Damn, bro. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Dude, you just did it in the box. That's 50 bucks off of stock X now. What the heck, man? Oh, All right, guys. This box is pretty light. It does. Oh, no. <laughs> it does seem to weigh uh, at least like six ounces, at most like eight ounces. All right, open them up. Come on. Uh, enough of the teasing. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see the size. No, 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 no. Don't show them. That shag Loudon has little feet. Little yeah, feet. Hey, feet. actually. Smaller feet is better running economy, and you get to wear lighter shoes. So. Mm. Very impressive, very impressive. Open her up, yes. open her up. Signs are <laughs> Facts. White paper. White, white I got white paper, guys. Dude, it comes Dude, with what? stock. Dude, start. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, oh baby. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah. Oh my, oh. Dude, that is clean. Look on the other side. You got the number on the other side, too. Ayo, ayo. It's clean. Oh, oh actually, man. it's very. Nice. What are your uh, initial oh, impressions on the looks? Initial impression. I love the look. So we got like the upper is very similar to Dragonfly. Like it, it is very thin. It's got this padding on the back and side, just like the Dragonfly. Um, like, what do you it, think about the laces? The laces. Um, they're very thin, and it's a very thin upper. So it's it's gonna be one of those laces that are gonna cut into your feet. Yeah, I'm but surprised I actually, they didn't go for dragonfly laces. Actually, I know. Yeah, they put them on the alpha flies and not these, which kind of disappoint because I like those laces. Yeah, you could probably switch them out. No, yeah, but also, yeah, I might actually switch them out. However, I actually, dude. The orange the dragonflies, no I mean the orange no alpha flies, Ooh, I could take the lace out of those. That would look nice. That would look so I'm good. I'm actually, actually, I'm probably gonna do that. You're gonna do that, yeah. Yeah, a lot of it, like, this is literally like just a combination of the dragonfly Dude, the and the vaporfly. The foam is so Oh, so yeah, it is very nice. I, I, I cannot wait any longer. I gotta get these on my feet right now. Let's see them. Let's see them on the feet. Nike's on my feet. I, I actually put socks on just for this uh, special occasion. I was free footing all day. All day. Walking around in the hook recovery slides. <laughs> Peyton's yeah, getting his yeah. ass slapped right now. Oh yeah, we have a new, uh... Oh my god. Oh my god! That How does it feel? How does it feel? It, it feels amazing. I I thought these would be like, so much thinner, like... I thought these would be similar to the Skecher Razor Elite. Is that, is that... I don't know, they... they fucking the names of their shoes are crazy. But, uh, yeah, one of those fast oh, sketcher yeah, shoes. A, I thought I thought like you'd be able to feel the ground a lot more, but there's a lot of it's it's deceptive. Peyton also managed to snag a pair. Uh, yeah, but uh, I was unable to get a pair. Um, has shout out running warehouse for the website crashing on me four different times on two devices. Really cool. I like that. Um, but hey. At least some of the boys got them. Oh yeah. Hey, the official it's drop is on the 28th, so and I got a silver barrel. Dude, I like I like a look of a white shoe like that. That's oh, a yeah. good looking shoe. White this is shoe. like God this is deceptive. <laughs> this is deceptively yeah, cushioned though. No, like, like it is so cushioned. Wow, Jesus. You're gonna have to do a little jog to test out that midfoot shank. Oh, I'm I'm running in this. Yeah, we got easy easy run tonight. Uh, ten miler. Definitely gonna be trying these out. And uh, yeah. How they feel? How they Those feel? Are clean. Clean. I love the look of them. They look awesome. It it's kind of weird. 
It is not. So the yeah, the carbon plate is only in the midfoot right here. I I can tell like I thought it wasn't even a carbon plate. I thought oh, it was no, 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 it's, it's just a like shank yeah. is what they're you know, calling it. Yeah, shank, shank in the midfoot. I can feel it. there's no Yeah. He's like, you have no damage. Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll get back to you with some uh, running footage and my thoughts after the run. So goodbye. What is up? I am now back from the uh, nice, easy 10-mile run. <sighs> initial reaction, initial review. These shoes are fantastic. Um, after... About the first mile, I was able to get used to, like, the flimsiness of it. Because it definitely, like, there's not as much of a rocker. But I think just because it was so thin and so, so light, like, it did not need a rocker just to keep me on my toes. I was I was on my toes that entire run. I feel in my calves. Um, I don't know what's going on with the camera turning around over here. But, uh... No, I was on my toes the whole time. There was not a single time where I thought maybe I was even midfoot striking. Like, I don't know if you could tell here, but definitely don't feel see anything down there. But you know, it was ten mile run. You're not really gonna see much wear. But like, I definitely zero heel striking. Um, but but it was a it was cushion the entire time. Uh, I I'd say. Probably the best thing I have to compare it to um, are these these bad boys, the uh, Skechers Razor 3. Um, they're, they're thin, they're the lightness. That, that is the, the craziest part was just how light they are. Um, it, it's insane. My, my cadence on that run, we were going like 640 pace-ish. And my cadence was 182. Uh, normally my cadence is like 170 low to high, like 170 mid, typically. And my cadence was one over 180 comfortably. Like I, I was just able to move my feet so swiftly. Um, I think where this shoe will really show is just any, uh, on the track, uh, anything over, probably anything over three miles that you're doing on the track, these will be great for. And then anything fast on the roads, anything 5K, 10K, I I don't know if I'd take these into a half. I, I like the meta speed so much, I think I'd probably still wear those, but like 5K, 10K, definitely these. Uh, workouts on the roads, definitely these. Uh, anything like less than 10 miles. I'm using these and uh, I might use these in, on the track in like a 10k maybe even a 5k but very possible I, I run in these bad boys in the in the 10k um on my foot they feel extremely comfortable it could be because of the socks I'm wearing my socks are pretty plush but like underfoot they're extremely comfortable. Uh, I don't feel too much under my foot. Like with the Skechers, that was one thing that I felt a lot of things under my foot, but I couldn't with these. Um, and they still have the plush feeling as your mix. You don't lose any of that. I think they're much more plush than the Dragonflies. Um, upper, the laces surprised me. They did not like cut into my foot at all. I, I mean, I think the I think the Alpha Fly lace is like, those cut into my foot pretty bad. But I think that's even a thinner upper. I also think there's like padded top. I think that helps a bit. Um, but no, they, they felt amazing. You know, this was extremely breathable. Um, I felt, I felt maybe it was, the lockdown was a little bit loose back here. But however, I did not uh, get that runner knot in there. I forgot about that, so. That should probably be fixed, and uh, I think that's probably all I have to say. Uh, I'll probably like the day or or the weekend or a few days before the uh, final big release. I'll do like an official review after I've done workouts and stuff like that. Cause I mean, this is just an extremely early initial review. Uh, but these shoes are definitely worth the investment, especially at only. 
are they one one eighty or no they're one sixty like that is great value so right now they're yes rating I don't know about rating system I don't I haven't thought that deep but yeah great shoe definitely go snag a pair I'll see you in the next one this is gonna be called Beef E unboxing the Nike Street Fly uh. Hey, what do the what do the viewers need to do? <laughs> like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs>